Hey everybody, this is Iron Toes. Thank you for watching, and this is your quick guide to using Invisible Woman. All right, everybody. Sorry for the lull in videos. Been a little busy with uh, work and, of course, uh, new baby at home, so that kind of slows me down. But uh, Invisible Woman, Kabam did a good job with this champion. Invisible Woman can really hold her own in a long fight and put up some great damage. She has the pre-fight ability, which gives you options, and she's a great defender in war. Uh, Invisible Woman doesn't have a lot in terms of utility on offense, but she kind of doesn't need it. So here are the top three things you need to know to start kicking butt. The first thing you need to know is the pre-fight ability. This is a, a relatively new feature that I hope Kabam starts incorporating into other champs. Uh, basically, when you're on the screen where you're selecting the champion for a fight, you can tap that champion that has one of these and you get a pop-up where you can activate the ability. For Invisible Woman, it increases her attack by about 20% at the cost of draining her force field at 5% per attack. This would be useful if you know you're in for some shorter fights, but if it's a long fight, I suggest you skip it. Now, for the SmackDown talk. This becomes quite a dance, but if you can keep it up, you can seriously dish out some damage. What you need to do first is become invisible, and in order to do this, you simply need to dodge an attack by dashing backwards. To keep the invisibility, you need to continue to dodge attacks. Even parry will make it start to expire. So, while you're invisible, keep dodging attacks, and each time you do, you'll place a vulnerability debuff on the opponent. Each one of these will increase your critical damage by about eh, 7%, and you can stack up to 50 of these. So if you can manage to keep dodging, you get about a 350% critical damage increase. Pretty sweet. Uh, as well, when you're invisible, your critical rating goes way up, so you should be able to land nasty hits over and over. Do this, and you won't have much time to think about anything else, let alone my last point. Um, but if you are dealing with a tough cookie, be sure to exercise rotation between specials 2 and 3. Special 1 simply doesn't have much offensive firepower going for you. Uh, Special 2 gives you a fury buff that doubles your attack, which is nice. Uh, it does drain your force field if you make contact, but not a bad trade-off on offense. Uh, Special 2 is my usually, uh, usually my go-to. However, if I find myself uh, with a full force field and almost 3 bars of power, I use Special 3. It adds a flat 100 points to your force field and restores it if it's already in cooldown. Um, just a nice thing to keep in your back pocket. The Fury from Special 2 will scale based on your force field, so if you're able to replenish it or add to it, uh, the numbers that you can stack on it, the more the better. Um, and so that's Invisible Woman in a nutshell. There's a lot of reading to do on her profile, and I suggest you get around to it someday. Um, there's some finer points in there. And I didn't talk about synergy in this video. I think I think what I'll do is I'll wait until Mr. Fantastic comes out, as well as Doctor Doom and Silver Surfer, just to see what the end result will be. Because obviously the Fantastic Four together are going to be good, uh, but what does that last wild card do? And we'll see that, and we'll do synergies at that point. So, anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Do hit that like and subscribe button and give this video recommended to others. I appreciate it, guys. See you next time. Bye.